Oh yeah, bro. How's it going? Um, so I basically I've been feeding them about five times a day, different food. So I've got to give them a variety of food of the size that they can eat. So I've got um, these types of pellets. Give me a second. So I've got these, which are quite high in protein. I've got to crumble them up a little bit because they're a bit big for these little guys. Um, then I've got some flakes um, that I crumble into like a powder. Um, now this, you'll see it's defrosting. This is frozen bloodworm. So you can see there's a... I don't know if it'll focus now. This focus thing is shite. Anyway, the... No, I need it to focus. There we go. Okay, so that little... There, there's two there. They're, they're little worms. And you get them in frozen blocks, but they're too big for for those little guys. Um, so I basically cut into smaller pieces so that they can digest it better. So I'm going to show you so you can see them feeding. So I'm going to set you up here for now. Let's see if I can... Oh, shite. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there. I'm just going to take the tank lid off a little bit, but I'll leave the lights on so that you can see. I'm just going to pop that stuff in there. why I've got to now give them the frozen bloodworms is they like the the live food um, the frozen food is quite is quite good for them and it's high in protein and fats and it's all part of replicating that environment Let's see if we can focus in on these guys eating these things okay so this one right here in front would be a female because you see she's quite fat so the fat ones that means she's holding eggs so I've got to try and establish I've got to get a male and a female um, that's also why I feed quite a lot because they need they need to know that there's enough food in the environment for them to actually spawn and there's also going to be so there's got to be a surplus of food the, the water conditions also have to be perfect because if they aren't um, then their fry won't survive so they instinctively know when their fry will survive or not and that's why you've got to create perfect conditions in order for them to breed um, so I, I'm gonna let them eat for a little bit and then I'll be back with you just now and I'll show you more